What's up guys, back with the stimulus update. Today is February 4th, Thursday. Uh, so some new stuff has come out of the whole stimulus package. Yesterday I reported that, or clarified and reported that Democrats have pushed through to vote. They vote on the bill, or they vote on the way how to vote on the bill, which was through uh, budget reconciliation. So if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. I uh, explain what that means. Um, anyhow, just to recap certain things that Biden has said. Uh, Biden is open to raising the targeted requirements for the $1,400 stimulus checks, but not the actual price tag. Uh, beginning of this week, uh, which was like beginning of February, basically, uh, GOP senators want to lower the checks to $1,000 and make them more targeted. Um, Biden is open to the targeting, meaning more restriction to who gets a check, uh, but he's he's dead set on keeping it at $1,400. That's to him. He promised uh, the American people, so he's going to keep to that promise. Uh, there are some progressive Democrats that don't want to raise the target requirements, uh, meaning that uh, more restrictions of who get the checks. Uh, as they argue that a large number of families are relying on these checks to come in. Um, some, certain economists are also on the side as, um, as a stimulus check is there for to stimulate the economy. So whether or not you need it or not, uh, they think that people get the check that they'll you know, go out uh, to buy food to go, buy more restaurants, uh, buy more clothing, stuff like that. Uh, again, stimulate the economy. Uh, the counter argument to that is that uh, people that have jobs um, either save their stimulus money that they get, meaning that they don't need the stimulus money in a sense to get by. Um, they uh, save the stimulus money or they go out and put it in like more stocks or something like that. So it doesn't really directly stimulate the economy, meaning they're not helping. It doesn't necessarily go to industries that are hurting like restaurants, bars, that type of stuff. Um, I definitely want to know what you guys think, uh, what side maybe you guys are leaning towards, you know, should someone has a job to make, they're able to afford or pay for everything that they got going, utilities, all that stuff, food on the table, um, do they really need the stimulus check? Um, again, two sides, one side says yes, so that they can spend the money, but certain reports have come out saying that they're not spending the money, they're just putting away in savings type of stuff, so who knows, um, but I definitely want to hear what you guys think. Uh, definitely drop some comments down below. I'll definitely check them out. Um, currently, the actual bill is being written by a group of senior uh, Democrat senators. Uh, nowhere when it will be done. Analysts pre are predicting about two to three weeks. In a sense, it's a lot of a lot of stuff in that one point nine trillion dollar uh, budget proposal. And for the most part, when Biden sent that out, it was just more of an outline. There was no details in it. Uh, Pelosi. Out, had her outline come out a couple days ago so some more stuff came out of that but nothing in, in detail so that's what they're working on to make everything detailed out um, that way they can present it to to uh, the House and the Senate so uh, if they do get it done within two or three weeks and the reason why analysts are predicting two or three weeks because um, next week you have the impeachment trial which is going to take up a lot of the Senator's time um, that takes a few days I guess, or they can move quicker. I'm not sure. Um, but let's just say two or three weeks, they get the bill written up. Two or three weeks, they present it to, uh, I believe it goes to the Senate first, I want to say. Um, and then that gets passed. It goes to the House, it gets passed, and then Biden signs into law. Obviously, no changes, which I'll get to in a minute. There's someone make a change to it. So, anyways, uh, so the earliest you could see a stimulus check would be late February this month or mid-March or early March, sorry. I'm predicting, this is my prediction, mid, mid to late March, that's what I'm thinking. Um, reason being, is, there's always some type of, again, Biden's real stuck on, so is Senator Joe Manson, Manchin, yeah, he's a, he's a Democrat too, he's stuck, they're both stuck on, the, more Manchin is stuck on uh getting bipartisan support on the bill. So we'll see. Um, however, something new came out off the stimulus package. 
Uh, Senator Mitt Romney, who is a Republican from Utah, if you remember, he ran for president uh, a few years back. Uh, today, he introduced the Family Security Act. Now, what is it? This act is to help with child poverty by providing at least $3,000 per child per year and 4200 per child per year if they're under six or six and under. Meaning that if you have two kids, you're going to get $3,000 each, $6,000 if they're between ages seven and I didn't see the 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 uh, that cap. It, it could be seventeen or eighteen. I'm not sure on that. It's probably seventeen. Um, so this benefit will be sent out monthly. So we know it's it works out three thousand dollars per year. It's actually uh, two fifty per month per child, and then the child is six and under. It'll be three fifty per month per child. So this benefit will start to decrease with incomes over two hundred thousand uh, dollars per year for single filers. Filers, sorry. So if you have a child uh, and you make over $200,000, uh, that two fifty a month is going to decrease. Again, no details on how much it would decrease per you know, $10,000 you make or $5,000 you make. Um, it also decrease starting at $400,000 per year for uh, joint filers. All right? The benefit would cap out at $1,250 per month. So basically, if they have up to five children, that's the max you'd get money for, uh, as long as you're within that income threshold. Uh, so you have six or more kids, you won't get any more money for child six, seven, eight, nine, and so forth. And uh, I, I didn't see if uh, that included, I think it's just only children. I don't think it includes like adult dependents. So um, that, that's why I read. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe more information come out on this. So this would be an amendment to the Biden stimulus plan. So basically, once that plan is written, um, Mitt Romney presented as an amendment to uh, Biden's plan. Uh, the other other interesting thing is that uh, the funds will be sent by the Social Security Administration and not the IRS, which is interesting because experts believe this would make it easier to reach families with incorrect, unreliable tax return information. Uh, you, you probably have seen reports of how many people didn't get their stimulus because either IRS had the wrong information or they didn't file for taxes, all that stuff. So obviously, uh, S, uh, Social Security Administration would be administering this, um, so it would be a little more effective. But let me know what you guys think, if, if you think that's a, that's a better idea than the IRS handling it. It will be interesting to see as more details come out on this uh, amendment that Mitt Romney has. So that's basically it, guys, uh, until the bill's written. Until it goes to the floor for voting or negotiations happen, that's basically it. Or, you know, senators or, or Congress people are going to get more amendments that they want to put in there. Who knows? We'll see. So, hey, if you guys are new to my channel, I'll much appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. I'm bringing content like this every single week. I also cater towards small business news. Uh, if you're an entrepreneur, that type of stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down below. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace.